Hey guys, this is X25 and welcome back to some more animation and yes, I know I'm doing two animation videos in a row. I usually try and keep them spread out, but I had no idea what to record today. So yeah, and I was also playing automation earlier. So yeah, I'm on here. But anyways, if you haven't read up on the overhead bar area, we're going to be modernizing the Abishu Hopper, which is basically a Jeep, which will be easy to modernize, I think. And luckily, there is a little. Apparently, this is a van. I do not. How is that a van? I'm not going to question it. <laughs> uh, let's see though. Which one do we want? We do we want that one? There's an SUV, which for some reason the picture isn't showing up. But I think we're going to use this one. Hold on. What's the what do the other ones look like? Okay, that's just an SUV. Yeah, I think we're going to use this one. All right. But anyways, yeah, here we go. But anyways, I th I hope you guys are enjoying this game on the channel. If you do want to see more, you be sure to hit that like button. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Anyways, we're going to use the light truck monocue. So we're going to corrosion resistant. It's going to be a front longitudinal. And of course, double wishbone suspension, quality of five. I think we're going to do a new engine project. This thing is going to have a V6. Just going to give it a V6. And not magnesium. And sure, it can have an overhead cam with two. And that's going to be the same material as the block material. Sure, we could do forged steel. Heavy duty forged. And then, uh, actually, no, we can, uh, no, we'll just do forged. Yeah. There we go. And compression, I think we'll leave that normal. And then we'll do that normal. Uh, turbocharger, it's not going to need it. How about an injection? It's going to be a multi point. It's going to be a single. It's going to be standard. It's going to have regular fuel, fuel mixture. I think we're going to leave as is. Ignition timer, we're going to mess with a little bit. Sure, that looks good. Uh, sleep, call you a five. All right, I need to go AFK for a second, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Okay. Anyways, where do we leave off? Oh, yeah, uh, call you a five. I think we're done with this little area here. It actually looks like a pretty nice little engine. Okay, it's going to be tubular. Sure, it'll have dual and bypass valves. It's going to have that. Reverse flow, reverse flow, call you a five as always. Is everything good? Not the exhaust. There we go. Oh, I think. Yeah, I can. Oh, I think the hopper does have low RPM, so this should work. Actually no, we'll just we'll just do it to its limit. Because that's how I normally do things. Okay, it's limited to sixty eight hundred, so not bad. Okay, it's gonna be this body quality of five. I don't think there's a lot of stuff you can do for this. Well besides that, you can round out the edges. Although I think we're gonna keep them boxy. Oh, I'm gonna Reset it. How about this? Maybe you can mess with that a bit. I'm gonna give this thing some fenders because why not? And then we'll give that a slight angle. I think that's, a, yeah, there's not really that much editing points on here. And of course, we're going to change the paint. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, it's got two paint tones. No, undo changes. Oh, gosh, that looks hideous. Uh, let's do this. Oh, that is bright. That is like neon. 
Why? Hold on. I know there's like a secondary color. How do I do that though? How do I do that? Um, how do you do? Uh... Wait, hold on. Defaults. Oh, so that's the roof. Hold on. I think I need to reset the paint, although I don't really know how to do that. That's kind of a problem. Um, I really shouldn't have... Wait, here we go. Wait, what did I... Oh, it's the bumpers! Okay. Um, wait, what? Okay, we're going to apply that. We're going to reset these to this. Basically everything except for the bumpers. And apparently for some reason the the uh the fenders won't change color. I don't know why. That's a little bit strange though. Okay, but anyways. Actually, that's a good looking green. Sure, we'll do green. Although it's going to look Christmassy, I'm going to, I kind of notice. Uh, let's see if we can kind of find a, uh, hold on, we can do that. How do we uh, fix that? Hold on, I'm just going to do this. Just make sure it's not the bumpers. Okay, it's not the bumpers. Fudge. It might be the trim. Although I'm not, I'm not quite sure. Oh, let's try to trim. It's this. Does it's this, isn't it? Wait, what? What is? I don't know why the fenders aren't. Yeah, that is a little bit strange. Huh. And there doesn't really seem to be any way I can change it. Hold on, if, unless if it's this. That would be kind of funny, though, if it was. It doesn't look like it is. Oh, wait, there we go. Okay, fixed. It's fixed. Oh, that doesn't really look like plastic at all. Oh, wait, now it looks like plastic. Very strange. Do I want plastic though? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna make it green. Okay. Paint's done. I think what we're going to do with the headlights is have these, like kind of like how the Jeep, the modern Jeep has has its lights. Because I feel like that would make the most sense. I know it looks a little bit weird right now, but I think once we add in more stuff, it won't look as weird. Uh, I need to find a round tail light for the back now. I think those are more old-fashioned. Same thing with these. Yeah, those are more old-fashioned. Those are like the tail fin tail lights. These, they look like modern taillights. At the same time, they don't, though, which is a little bit strange. Hold on, we can try to do this and make it look, and make the back look like an old Range Rover Defender. I know it's sometimes called Land Rover, but we, I, for some reason, Americans call it Range Rover sometimes. I don't know why. Um, uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah, I, I could say, I could see that. The real problem is the spare tire. I just now realized that. 
Are we going to add the spare tire? I don't know. Figure it out. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, if you're hearing uh, thunderclouds, yeah, that's from me because where I'm at right now, it's currently, uh, I'm in the middle, where I, where I live, it, there's a thunderstorm right outside, so. It's just, it's just great. Should we add an indicator? I don't think we should. It looks kind of strange if I add one. Alright, time for the grill. This looks somewhat weird just because of it, just because it looks like a face. But I can still see it. Uh grill, it's not gonna go on there. Wait a minute. Can we have indicators on the bumper? I wonder. Hold on a minute. If we get the right indicators, there could be indicators on the bumper. Hold on a minute. If we do that. Oh yeah, I could definitely see that. Although for some reason they look they don't look like they're properly aligned. That's a little bit strange. Okay. How about now? Oh yeah, I could definitely see that. Okay, so the bumpers are going to look a little bit less bland now. That's good. Should we get a... Should we get a... Uh, I, I need to find words here. Am I... Should I try and do a vent on the side just for decoration? Like, not... It's not going to be an obnoxious one, of course. But, like, just... A little thing right there for decoration purposes. I don't know. I I'll just see what I have here. It's probably not gonna be that. It could be that. Yeah, we can do that. That looks good. All right, scoop. I don't think there's gonna be nothing. I don't think there's gonna be anything with scoop. Sunroof. We can have that. Why not, right? And since it's a hopper, we're gonna make it cover the entire the entire uh, length of the car. Actually, hold on. What does the top of a Jeep look like? I'm actually now curious. Like, does it have? Oh, wait a minute. I know why it doesn't have... It doesn't have a... A sunroof. Although that's kind of understandable because it, the roof can come off. It's able to detach. So if we go to paint, will we be able to do that? Although I need to find the... Is it this one? Nope, it is not that. I think it's a secondary one. Yeah, it is. On defaults. I think we'll make it a soft top. Yeah, there you go. I'll go back to fixtures. Yeah. Yeah, I'll still have the, the elements of a normal Jeep, but it just won't have the entire top come off because normally this would come off as well. Actually, hold on a minute. Isn't there a body, a body option somewhere? I feel like there's a body option for that. Isn't there? Oh, I'm making sure that I have everything. Yeah, everything's good. Everything is... Oops. What did I just choose? Uh-oh. I just choose something else. Yeah, I'm, I'm choosing this. But thanks for playing. Wait, is there a convertible here that actually would be kind of hilarious? Is there a convertible? I must know. <laughs> no, there is no convertible, which kind of sucks. Although that would be a nice addition to this this body variant. That would be that would make a lot a lot of sense. Oh fudge! It reset all the headlights. 
Now I need to redo all of, her, all of them. Oh wow, that actually looks cool. Oh, <laughs> don't mind me just redoing the head, all the fixtures I did before, is I accidentally clicked on our body. I got too curious. <laughs> you had to, you had to go back to the body selector X. You had to go back to the body selector. Although again, a, a convertible option would be a nice touch, because this is literally a Jeep. A Jeep slash Hummer. Because it also does look like a Hummer. Okay, what else did I have? Oh yeah, I had indicators down here. And these were plastic. And these were enlarged. But not too enlarged. Because I don't want to be larger than the headlights. Otherwise it would just look weird. Alright. So, although they can be larger than the taillights, that would make a little bit more, a more, more of sense. Okay, so it's got all that. It's got, I'm going to redo the vent. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I need to trim the body again because I remember I had fenders. Yeah, I kind of forgot about that. Alright. Okay, I need to go AFK again, so I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back again. <laughs> Alright. I really hope the the music that's in the background, I hope I don't get copyright for that. I'm, I'm hoping that the audio isn't picking that up. I'm pretty sure it isn't last time I checked. Yeah, it's not. That's good, that's good. All right, so what's next here? Um, vent scoop. It's it doesn't have a scoop, does it? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Although I probably could make a little grill mesh on the hood, but that that's probably not gonna happen. So uh, no sunroof because of the convertible thing. Lip no spoiler no wing no fuel cap. Yes, it needs a fuel cap. Oh, for some reason, none of the BMG cars have fuel caps. That's a which is a little bit strange. Uh, but yeah. Anyways, moving on. I think this would work, right? I don't know. Hold on a minute. What else is available? It's not that. I could probably use this, and maybe do it like that. It's like the same strategy I did with the Roamer, and then I could just use that. Yeah. That looks like a door handle. That looks all modern. It looks modern too, so it, it works. Oh, can I make it dark? Make it darker? Oh, I can. Thank you. Yeah, it can be darker. It just—it's just not gonna look darker half the time just because of the lighting. And the game lighting. Oh, fudge! What does the what do the mirrors do? Um, what mirrors does it have? I'm really trying to think. What kind of mirrors would I see on this thing? Would it be these? Oh, I need to enlarge them though. That's a problem. That doesn't look that bad. Maybe I can try and find some that are like a little bit raised. Like, what about this or this? Like, what about this? Can these be raised? I feel like they would be here. Yeah, that could work. And then we'll make them plastic. Or we could just leave it like that. You know, we'll leave it like that. Why not? Alright, so uh, body molding, that's a big no. Aerial, no. License plate. Oh yeah, I forgot about the license plate. It usually has a side license plate. I just need to look for the right one. I think this is the, yeah, this is it. So I think this is how it normally is. Yeah, that, that has to be how it normally is. I'm pretty sure, at least. Alright, so... Bumper bar, it doesn't need... Yeah, no, it doesn't. Badging. Now, it's a good thing I have uh, the Beam and G 
badging installed. Oh, which one's the more modern one? That's the weird thing. I'm just going to... Oh, I forgot the grill. My bad. <laughs> I knew I was forgetting something. So, yeah. We're going to flip it. And yes, I know it, it looks like a it looks like a weird face. I'm well aware of that. But it's still fine. It still looks good. Okay, but yeah, Ibishu. And then back to badges. We're gonna use Ibishu again. Even though that's probably gonna be covered up. Although actually we're gonna move it down here because I feel like moving being it down here makes a little bit more sense than having it be in the door the window frame. Okay, so I think, although I don't know for sure, there might be a, uh, there might be a, uh, what, what's it called? It look, there might be a, uh, an option where I can, I think there's an option where I am able to add a spare tire. I just need to find it. Is this it? There is a spare tire somewhere. I know that. I have added it to vehicles before. And it's not that. <laughs> Obviously, it's too small. Wait, what is this? Hold on. Okay, that's a thing. What is this? I have no idea what those are for. Well, I'm pretty sure I'll have a use for them later on in the future. Uh, let's see. What is this? I don't know. Might be a key lock? I don't know. That's a handlebar. This is a trim thing. Wait, no. This is a light bar. I do not want a light bar. Uh, that's a light bar. That's a radiator. That's a roof rack thing. That's a interior parts. This is a roof rack, I think. Actually, I don't know what it is. Where is it? Huh. That's a little weird. Uh, where is it? I know it's here somewhere. I have clicked on it before. Uh... Wait, what was that? Oh. Where are you? I feel like it's going to be in like the weirdest place imaginable. Wait, I didn't even click on anything. Yeah, that's... This is a radiator, I feel like. My goodness, kitty. Yeah, it's my cat. What is it? Is this a wheel? Actually, wait. What is this? What is it? Oh, it's a siren. Okay, for old-fashioned police cars. Uh, <laughs> where is it? Where is this thing? Uh, wait, is it, is it here? No. I swear. It's here somewhere. Yes, is there something I can do for you? Sorry, my cat. Um, why? There's nothing here. I think that I'm going to have to sell for that because that's like the closest thing I could find to a spare tire. Oh, that's a little bit too big. Oh, gosh. Actually, wait, that is a spare. That is a spare tire. My bad. It just doesn't look like one. What is this? I don't know. Um, how does... None of these do anything. Wait, yeah, they do. It's just very, very... It's a very, very subtle change. That's the issue. I'm going to move it up so it doesn't touch the bumper. I think that's good enough. 
I'm also making sure that's accurate to the tire size. I think it is. And yeah, there, there you go. There you go. There you have it. It's a little tire thing with a, uh, a yeah, yeah. We'll go. We'll go with that. Sure. Mm. Well, yeah, I was just there. Okay. So tow bars. It's not gonna need. Let's see if you want this, which could be a nice addition, but I'm not going to add it. Okay, it's a 4x4, four four, obviously, with a uh, sequential transmission, because why not? I'm going to increase the top speed right off the bat, because I already know it's going to ask me to do so. Like, once I'm done with everything. Okay, medium card compound. It's going to be magnesium. And this is going to be extended out a little bit. Oh, that is that good? Yeah, that's good. This is going to be vented, vented. Four, five. Sure, we can have an off-road, actually no, semi-clad. Cooling flaps, sure. I don't even know what the, what the cooling flaps do. But I have a feeling it's something important. We're gonna have premium, premium HUD, sure. It's gonna be all modern. Sure, we'll have all the the up to date safety features. This actually looks pretty legit. Wait, I just got an idea. Can I do this? On badges. Can I put a badge up? Can I put a fixture on top of a fixture? I can't. Gosh darn it. I was going to put a badge on the on the spare the spare tire. Which would look really, really cool. Unfortunately, I can't. Okay, so it's going to be... Uh, sure, progressive springs. Semi-active dampers. Active sway bars. All right, damper stiffness. I saw that coming from a mile away. Whoops. Top speed, brake size, grip. How does this thing need to go faster? I have no idea. Adding rear grip. Oh yeah, the tire width is pretty thin. I just now realized that. So that fixes that problem at least. Also, I think the tire diameter needs to be more. Ooh, that's a little bit too much, I think. Now I'm going back to, uh, no, not testing. We're going to increase the ride height a bit because I feel like that's the best thing we should do. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, what's left? Brake size, okay. We'll just upgrade one piston. And the good part is, is that they're both relatively the same size. So that's, yeah, I've been more vigilant of that. Just so that way it doesn't look as weird. So yeah, I think we are done with the hopper. So yeah, this is the, uh, not trim 14. Hopper. Yeah, there we go. All right, so I'm going to export this to BMG Drive. 
And I thank you guys for watching this episode of BMG. Wait, no, not BMG Automation. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.